Hi, welcome. Here's your Saxon lesson 132 for today. We're going to start our lesson by reviewing our sight word cards. Is everyone ready? Yes. Read. Excellent. Good job. All right. Touch. That's, that's right. Touch. All right. Uh, next is our affix cards. Are you ready? What are affixes? Good. Prefixes and suffixes are called affixes. Prefixes come in the beginning of the word. Suffixes come at the end of the word. If I say let's go over our affix cards, that means we're going to have prefixes and suffixes in this deck. Okay, go ahead. What is this? Suffix S, suffix W, suffix E, suffix A, suffix O, suffix R, suffix S, suffix W, suffix V, suffix is, suffix ish, suffix A, suffix for. Ush. Uh, us. I'm sorry, it's us. us. Suffix us. us. Very good. Keep going. Pre Prefix, Prefix pre. Prefix pre. Prefix under. Prefix over. Prefix on. Prefix in. Prefix in. No, you say prefix in. Prefix M, prefix er. Try that again. Prefix in, prefix M, prefix er. Excellent. Prefix mono. You weren't here when we did this. Prefix by, prefix try, prefix quad, prefix pent, prefix miss. Prefix re. I'm going to go over the last few because we had some people that weren't here. Uh, who can remind us, what does the prefix mono mean, Rena? One. Good. Mono means one. What does prefix by mean, Amaria? Two. Good. What does prefix try mean, Amariah? Three. What does prefix quad mean, Leah? Four. What does prefix pent mean, Christian? What does prefix miss mean, Dustin? No. What does prefix miss mean, uh, JC? Wrong. Wrong or bad. Very good. What does prefix re mean, Dominic? Again, very good. Like rebuild or recall. Good job. Those are the new prefixes we went over yesterday. We'll c continue to review those, though. All right. Um, next up, we're going to do letter cards. This is the last set. Letter cards. I want you to pay attention. A lot of y'all are struggling with the coding. If you are looking at them as I do them, your brain processes it better and will be able to remember the coding marks that are on the cards. So if for some weird reason you can't see, then please maneuver or move slightly to a position where you can see. All right. I have unfortunately can't move because I'm recording and they need to see me too. All right, cry I. Cry I. Candy E. Candy E. Ring N. Ring N. Phone F. Phone. Leaf E. Leaf E. Thread E. Thread E. Steak A. Steak A. Not N. Not N. Nat N. Nat N. Reef er. Reef er. Mouse ow. Mouse ow. Soup oo. Soup oo. Cow ow. Bo O, Bo -o. Rain, a. Rain A, Hey A, hey, a. Circles. Circles, 
oil oi toy oi light eye patch giraffe j bridge j lotion shun soap o faucet ah straw ah wallet ah sponge a mission shun television jun cashew ew key blue ew banana a nutritious chess delicious chess high eye shield e receipt e veil a slay a picture chur excellent you're going to need to take out your spelling high frequency word practice 32 we are going to practice spelling some sounds so next to number one where it says spelling sound review i want you to write down the sound for v. that's v final v e number two or combination o r number three j j j comma g final d g e comma g e number four t t that's t final t comma e d number five chur like picture chur what is that good t u r e excellent number six is z z comma s z comma s excellent number seven is o O consonant E comma O final O W. O consonant E comma O final O W. Number eight is O L final L L. Number nine is D. D final D comma E D. D final D comma E D. Okay, let's practice. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show you my paper. This is how my paper, this is how your sh paper should look. If you need some time to copy this down or to correct your writing, go ahead and pause the video now. All right, now we're at the section where it says review words. Number 10, write down the word fever. Fever. If someone has a fever, they are sick. sick. Fever. Ramsey, spell fever for me. Excellent. F E V E R. Fever. F E V E R. Number 11. Spell the word floppy. Floppy. A bunny has floppy ears. Floppy. Dustin. Floppy. Excellent. F L O P P Y. Number 12 is thickness. Thickness. Christian, thickness. Excellent. T H I C K N E S S. Sight words, number thirteen, clothes. Our clothes are all in uniform. Clothes.
Brenaya, clothes. Good, C-L-O-T-H-E-S, clothes. Number 14, course, course. Course, Jacob H. Good, C-O-U-R-S-E. 15, heart, heart. Rina Hart. H -A -R -T. No. Uh, let's see. Amaria Hart. H -E -A -R -T. Good. H E A R T. Good try. All right. Sixteen. The sentence is. Go. To bed now, so you will not be tired in the morning, period. Do it with me. Hands and eyes. Hands You should start like this, everybody. Good. Go to bed now, so you will not be tired in the morning, period. Write that sentence down and pause the video now. All right, this is how your paper should look. Go to bed now so you will not be tired in the morning. I know it looks like I have an M here. It's not an M. The R and N are too close to each other. It's M-O-R-N-I-N-G, morning. Make sure you have a period in the beginning of your the first word in your sentence. The first letter in the, your sentence is capital. All right. Um, all right, let's move on. All right, I need you to um, echo these words for me. Drainage, blockage. Drainage, blockage. Very good. What sound do you hear in each of these words? J, J. Very good. Let's look at these words and tell me what is what, what's making the j sound. What's making the sound? A-G-E. Good. A-G-E. That's right. The letters A-G-E are making the sound. What do you think the letters A-G-E are? A suffix. They're a suffix. How do you know the letters are acting as a suffix? Because it's acting as a word. Very good. And if I box those suffixes... And it has room. Very good. If I box the suffixes and I look at what's left, that's... Drain is a root word, and so is... Whoa block. Those are root words. When uh, we can tell that the letters A-G-E are acting as a suffix in these words because after we cover the letters, the root word drain and block are left. Suffix A-G-E means an action. For example, the word drainage means the act of draining and the word blockage means the act of blocking. Who can help me code these words? Drain. Amaria? Very good. Drainage. How about blockage, Christian? Excellent. All right? Very good. All right, let's use the word drainage in a sentence. Who can use drainage in a sentence for me? Uh, yes, Brenaya. And Mariah? <coughs> okay. She said the water in my, when I f finished washing the dishes, I drainage the water. Uh, okay. It, it's the act. Okay. So edge means the act or state of. So the act or state of draining. So drainage would be like, oh, no, I'm having drainage in my sink. Like the sink, the water in the sink is dra draining. It's going down. All right. That's a good one, though. Let's use blockage. So blockage means the state or act of being blocked. 
So how can I use that for Naya? Okay, there's blockage in my tub. Okay, how else, uh, JC? Okay, all right, that's okay. These words, emit, okay, I'm sorry, let's, let's work on some other words. I have the word, what's this word say? Image. Image and... And what? Sausage. Sausage. Very good. These words, image and... I'll wait. These words are image and sausage. Do you see the letters A, G, E are acting as suffixes in these words? No, they're not. Because if I cover them up and I look at the root word, is M a root word? No. Is sauce a S A U S sauce? Is that a root word? No. I mean, it sounds like sauce, like like ketchup is a sauce, but that's spelled differently. That's S A U C E. This is just sus. So no, there is no root word left. Remember, after you box an affix, you must always make sure a root word is left. Bernaya, turn around. In these words, the letters A, G, E are not acting as suffixes, but the sound is still the same as ij. When you see these letters and they are not acting as a suffix, just cross out the E because it is silent and code the G with a dot since it is making the J sound. We won't code the A because there is really no easy way to indicate that it is making the I sound. Who can help me code these words? So the I is going to be coded with a breathe. And the A, we're not coding, I just said that. G needs a dot. dot. This is A consonant e. e. And then there is a V, C, V word. The division line goes here. And the accent. So what's the word, class? Okay. Image. Image. I can use the word image in a sentence by saying, oh, the image you sent me, image is like a picture. The image you sent me is blurry. That means the picture you sent is blurry. I can't read it. I can't see it. Image. Sausage is like a hot dog. Kind of. I mean, it looks like a hot dog. It tastes a little differently. So sausage. Who can help me with sausage? What do I do with the AU class? Underline. Underline. What about the, the G? What about the A consonant E? Very good. And where's the VCV in this one? This is a vowel diagraph. C, V. Excellent job. The division line goes right there. And the accent, boom. What's the word? Sausage. Very good. All right, here's our new affix card. Whenever we see this last card, we're going to say suffix edge. Okay, very good. Like bandage or drainage. Those are some examples. All right, let's get out your spelling and high frequency word practice sheets. We're going to fill in the box labeled new sounds in words. Now let's spell some words that have suffix edge. Put your finger, remember when you hear edge, how do you spell that? A-G-E. Put your finger next to number one. I want you to spell the word or write the word bandage. Band, that's easy. And then edge, A-G-E. Bandage, B-A-N-D-A-G-E. Number two, garbage. Garbage, G-A-R-B-A-G-E. Number three, storage. Storage. Spell it, S-T-O-R-A-G-E. 
All right, let's read the words in the high frequency word box together. Earth, early, whose, animal, America, finally, question, stranger. You're going to write each word one time next to it. On the bottom, you're going to come up with two sentences using one word in each sentence. When you go to the, um, uh, the homework and worksheet side, you're going to um, make sure that you box the suffixes here and code the words. The last writing one on seven, it says, the side that says homework, it says write five sentences you know, uh, write five suffixes you know, then write two sentences using some of those suffixes. So who can tell me what one of the suffixes that we've learned? Yes, Amaria. Okay, suffix es. So let's write that down. We can go in and do that now together if you want. Suffix es. What other suffix did we learn? Dominic? Suffix ed. Excellent. That's two. What's another one, Rena? Suffix ing. Good. Suffix ing. What's another one? That's three. We need two more. Haney? Suffix, oh, Su suffix what? Over. Over is a prefix. Suffix what, Christian? Huh? Ness, very good, and ESS. -S. Raise your hand. Rena? Suffix LY. Suffix LY, good job. Or it could be suffix less, L E S S. But I already have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Actually, I wrote down six. I'm going to write down seven just because. So the ones we talked about, we said suffix s, suffix ed, suffix ing, suffix ness, suffix li, suffix less. All right, the next step is write two sentences using some of those suffixes. So I'm going to come up with a random sentence using two suffixes with these words. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use less and Lee. I'm sorry, Ness and Lee. I'm going to say the lovely. You cannot use the same sentence as me. The lovely girl. Had. A lot. Of kindness in her heart. I used lovely that has suffix ly. I'm going to box or highlight that word. I use kindness that has suffix ness. I'm going to box or code that word. So that's how that should look. The lovely girl had a lot of kindness. If you want to go ahead and copy down the suffixes here, you can do that. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But you're going to come up with your own two sentences. Again, the suffixes I wrote were suffix s, suffix ed, suffix ing, suffix ness, suffix li, and suffix less. If you need some time to pause this, pause the video now. All right. The back says, where it says worksheet side, Write five prefixes you know, then write two sentences using some of those prefixes. Let's talk about prefixes. Haney, what's the prefix that you mentioned a minute ago? Good, prefix over. What else, uh, Destin? Prefix ish, that's a suffix. Uh, a pre give me a prefix, yes, Amaria. <coughs> Good. Prefix, is it under or un? Under. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, Rena? Prefix pre. Prefix pre. What's another one, Vernaya? Okay. Prefix n. And m. Ish is 
ish and or are suffixes. What's another prefix, JC? This? This. This. Very good. That's right. Prefix this. Brenaya? Yes. Mono, yes. Prefix mono. We learned that one yesterday. What does mono mean? One. one. Oh, what? oh, What's another one, Rena? Prefix pen. pen. What does pen mean? Pen. Five. Pent. What's the other one, uh, Dominic? Prefix try. And we'll do one more. Yes? Good. Prefix re. So I wrote way more than five. I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so these are those prefixes. We said prefix over, prefix under, prefix pre, prefix in and m, prefix dis, prefix mono, prefix pent, prefix try, prefix re, prefix by, if you would want to write that too. Write all the prefixes you know. And then you're going to come up with two sentences using two different prefixes. So I'm going to say my sentences will be, you cannot copy mine, the or mom was going to have triplets um Mom was going to have triplets Ooh, that's a hard one. Maybe I should change that then. There is a tricycle overboard. That doesn't even make sense. I know, but the sentence doesn't make sense. This is a harder. Uh, I like it. Yeah. Pen. Let's. Uh, maybe I'll use pent. I have. I have a pentagon. There was a. Here's an easy one. There was a pentagon in the triangle. Oh, and pen and pen. Because the pentagon was draw. Somebody drew a pentagon in the triangle. I, I drew a pentagon in the triangle. That's an easy one, though. But uh, that's that's the one that you have to think about. I don't want to waste uh, my onliner's time thinking. But you guys, I want you to use your brain and think this is going to take some thinking, and I like it. Uh, but you're going to do the same thing. Uh, you're going to come up with two sentences using two prefixes. Um, if you want to write down these prefixes, you can go ahead and pause the video now. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. Go ahead and complete the worksheet and the homework side on your own. And then you're going to do some rainbow writing. You're going to do that in your Word work notebook. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you later. Bye.